I got the chance while I was at Long College to sit down for a little while um, with Rod Marquette from New Farm. He uh, just explained some of the uh, hot new items from New Farm and uh, how to use them. And so I, I felt like it was a, a good thing to, to put up on the channel. Educate you people a little bit. But no, Rod was uh, fantastic and I appreciate him taking the time to do that. And uh, we're gonna show you that right now. Y'all pay close attention to Rod now. He's gonna drop some great nuggets for you on uh, things that'll help you for specific issues you have in, uh, in your grass as it is. But then he's gonna drop a little nugget on an unintended side effect they found with another product that might possibly help you with POA annual and POA trivialis and fescue. <laughs> What's going on today, guys? I got the great opportunity to be here at Longcology with uh, Rod Marquette from New Farm. And Rod's gonna run through a couple of details. You know, he might tell you the, the, hot, the hot items that they got out right now for uh, a warm season program and a cool season program. I, you know, I've never got out with a lot of New Farm stuff on warm season grass, but in cool season grass, you know, anything that's good with triclopyr and fluoroxapyr is usually tied right back to new form even sometimes you you pick up something you didn't even know it like a momentum right. fx2 and you start looking at it, you say this it's good you knew it had to be new form and it's got like <laughs> beer and fluoxapyr but uh run through a little cool season stuff rod what uh okay so our 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 portfolio as you just mentioned we do have a lot of products with fluoroxapyr and triclopyr in them momentum fx2 being one cool power horsepower um sure power uh, Escalade, um, a lot of well-known mm -hmm. product names. SurePower is the newest product that we have uh, for cool season turf. It's been about a year and a half, and it's kind of unique because it, it has a fourth ingredient in, ingredient in it that is not in any other herbicide, except for one, which is SureGuard. So we've taken the active ingredient from SureGuard and put it into a broad spectrum herbicide at a very low rate. And that active ingredient um, really, really improves and increases the efficacy of the other ingredients in that product. So Sure Power has triclopyr in it, and it really smokes wild violet and ground ivy, um, and a whole long list of other broadleaf weeds and yellow nut sedge. Um, and it's not on the label yet, but it also knocks back Heard crabgrass. Ooh. Okay, so it also knocks back crabgrass. It doesn't. Control it in the middle of summer, kind of like a quinclorac, mm -hmm. but it gets that young stage. Same. So, and then we also have, uh, um, again, it's not on the label, but we have some people mixing with a low rate of quinclorac to give a little added boost on uh. that crabgrass. Um, but as far as what it does, it, it's, it's a little different than most triclopyr products. Most triclopyr products, you want to go out in the spring and the fall because that's when you're gonna get through the, the, the waxy leaf cuticle on a wild violet. Mm -hmm. With SurePower, we have learned that the ideal timing is in the middle of the summer. So our timing is June 15th to September 15th, okay? So it opens up a different application window that most people um, either avoid or they don't do much weed control during that time period. I don't even really ever consider yep. triclopyr on uh, cool season grass yeah, in, in the, the summer. summertime, no. So it, it, it opens up a window and it gives you an opportunity to kill the wild violets when nothing else works. And so it's a kind of uh, unique um, product. And the reason why we don't like you to go in the spring or the fall is because the cuticle on the grass blade is tender at that stage when it's mm -hmm. growing out. And with that flumioxazin, the fourth ingredient in there, it opens up the pores so much that the, the other ingredients, the, the uh, 2,4-D and the triclopyr and the, um, the cama get in there so fast that it can cause uh, speckling to the turf. Hmm. Not always, but it can cause speckling. So we avoid the spring and the fall. We go out in the summer when the grass is hardened off and we have absolutely phenomenal result. And for a very reasonable price. Um, so I, I think the 
it's around 25 bucks an acre, 57 wow. cents per thousand. So for so a little lower really, application rate than our standard uh, three-way two, isn't it? Yes, 1.1 ounces per thousand. Okay. So it's pretty wild. It's uh, mm -hmm. it's been a lot of fun. I'm I'm sure you can see in my face. Yeah, you're. I've, I'll, I've I'll had this. A, I've had a lot of fun working with Sure Power, and I'm a Southern guy. I'm uh -huh. I don't even really work with it that uh -huh. much, but because of Facebook mostly um, and my relationships in the lawn care industry I've talked a lot about sure power to a lot of people my co-worker Jamie Heidinger in the north is really our you know sure power guy because he's the northern guy but it just it, it, I come across it every single day and, and get to talk about it as well well so. I'm I'm in a predominantly warm season market but I've ended up with a lot of fescue and I went to my local weed joint to try to get some and they didn't have it unfortunately and uh, but I have friends more to the western part of the state who've used it and rave about it so yeah i'll have to i'll have to see if i can get a hold of some shore power and i the spray it in the summer now that that would yeah. not even occur to me so that's yep that's so pretty special the current label statement for temperature says don't blanket spray over 80 degrees but there's no high end to the spot spraying so it's a great summer spot spray product we have also put in for label changes to the epa to increase that blanket spray temperature um limit as well okay. but at the moment 80 is the label and the label is the law well, i would be worried about volatility with a truck so, pure product but uh, I, no. i'm really not i'm not with sure power okay so, awesome yeah yeah all right so that's the cool season the the really the big new exciting mm -hmm. well that's, out there. that is pretty good and as far as warm season what i usually keep is a uh, change up for a couple of reasons i have uh a pretty big carpet grass area that I spray. Okay. That's the only thing I found this label for carpet grass. And also it is my 2,4 D alternative if I'm at my uh, yearly right. limits uh, spraying, you know, general three ways on something. So yeah, change, change up is, is, is my, is my go-to from new farm for, for that application. Excellent. So, Excellent. Right. I love change up in the coastal areas um, in the Southeastern U S whether it's along the Atlantic coast or along the Gulf coast, um, that's where we've had the, the biggest success. Um, but even in transition zones, because you can spray it on warm or cool season turf, and especially like in a community like Atlanta, where the front yard's Bermuda, the backyard is fescue, they've got some crabgrass mixed in, they've got some zoysia here and there. Mm -hmm. it, it just gives you an opportunity where you can go with one product and basically take care of any of your products. That is 100% one of the things I run up with in my market is that I'll have you know, three different kinds of turf throughout a yard or a yard that's mixed centipede and Bermuda or something. And yeah, that's where I'll use the change up there too, or the speed zone Southern. And the, the change up might actually be a better option to run throughout the whole thing versus the speed zone Southern. I, I like the change up. Um, with change up, <coughs> the, the, the one caution I have with change up is in St. Augustine grass, in St. Augustine Floritam, um, you want to probably limit your applications on that turf. So mostly where I'm talking about South Florida or Florida people, mm -hmm. but you would want to limit that really to basically a spring application. So a March, April, May, June um, application okay. to avoid the heat of the summer and the, the fall transition into dormancy or semi-dormancy. Um, so we, yeah. we spend a great deal of our summer over that 80 degree threshold that yeah. a lot of products have on it. So yeah, yeah that's one thing. Yeah. So, what else have you got that you're excited about in warm season? So, of course, Certainty is a, our well-known old sedge product. Solero is a new sedge product that, again, kind of like change up, it can be used on warm or cool season turf. So Certainty, you're concerned because if you use it on certain cool season turf, you can cause damage. Mm -hmm. Whereas Solero, you're gonna kill Kylinga very effectively, yellow, purple nut sedge, um, a globe sedge, all the sedges whether you're in warm or cool season turf. So it gives you that flexibility for those transition um, zone people as well. Okay, and so that'll go for a centipede as well? That's very good on centipede okay. as well, well yeah. Usually yeah. the, for warm, you know, if I got Bermuda, Molly's gonna go with something like Monument. Monument kills sedges like crazy, but it very limited to what I can put it on. Right. Cause it'll, yeah. it, I mean, it'll wreck pretty much any other turf, but Bermuda and Zoysia. But that's uh, so a certainty. Yeah, All certainty right. for warm season. Solero. Uh, Solero. Solero for warm or cool season. So that's something kind of new. And then, not, not that lawn care operators use this a lot, but we have a growth regulator called a new that's out, which is really awesome. There's been some talk around uh, some, some results on POA, but, but 
we need to do a little bit more research before we can really say too much more about it. that. <laughs> We're hoping. <laughs> We're hoping. So, but no, there's been some uh, some good results. But as far as a growth regulator, it's been a lot of fun. I use it on my yard at home and. Uh, you know, South Florida, I'm mowing my lawn once every three weeks, which is wow, awesome. Well, I've, I've, we're definitely going to experiment some in our market with the uh, a new to try to control POA. And he's talking POA annual and POA trivialis, people. That's right. The uncontrollable yeah. POA trivialis. We shall see. Yeah. <laughs> I, shall I, by see. the time I get it, it'll be uh, time for it to be gone anyway. So we might not. <laughs> it, might, <laughs> it might look like it worked really good because it'll be gone for the summer. But anyway, all right, Rod. Man, I appreciate you taking the time with me so much. And, uh, Thanks a lot. My pleasure, You people Paul. go out there and buy you some new phone. All right. Thank you. <laughs> thanks, Ryan. All right. Thanks for checking that out. I'm a pretty big fan of the new farm products uh, and learning more from, uh, you know, the presentation that Rod gave that day plus the little talk we had. Damn big company. <laughs> but uh, I find the pricing on it is is, is pretty good. It's, uh, it's, it's actually better than a lot of the uh, – the other name brand three-way herbicides and super effective so uh why not go with some new farm people all right thanks for watching and thanks to rod